society groups for good governance on Thursday stressed the need for consistent fact-checking and accuracy of all information before publishing to protect Nigeria's unity. Our correspondent Joy Malik completes the story. Fake news is false or misleading information presented as news. It often has a way of damaging the reputation of a person or entity. We are here reporting at Charlton Hotel, Abuja, here in the nation, city capital, at the civil society round table on fake news. I am Joy Malik. Fake news is a type of yellow journalism or propaganda deliberately misinforming that spread via traditional print and broadcast news media and recently online social media is the crux of this meeting. I say, I want to welcome you. I want you to believe in this country. I want you to understand that fake news is not, never going to help us. If you believe that you are going to use fake, you are going to pet up fake news to bring down this country, I tell you, the civil society community is watching out. Going forward, as we, as we move towards 2023, I am very sure that we are going to find culprits or merchants of this fake news. And we are going to track them and ensure that the country becomes a better place. Thank you. Dominique Ogaku says fake news is a dangerous weapon that has beaten deep into the fabrics of the nation. Here, he is urging Nigerians to get involved. Else, fake news, he says, will destroy the country. The two words, fake and news. News is um, happenings, right? Events as they unfold, as they are told. Fake, something that's not real, non-existent, distorted. So fake news is distorted news, non-existent news, news that is false. But then beyond just being false or non-existent, fake news also comes with some intent, negative intent. As the president of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, we have seen that the Nigerian youth have been swayed, taken in by fake news. We have also seen exaggerations of uh, even what might be real news, but blown out of proportion and tilted to negative dimensions. All of these things have been geared at having a negative effect on society and crippling our nation. That's the end point of fake news. Solomon Adodo, in a goodwill message, faults the country's dwindling economy on fake news. Yes, to tackle fake news is to allow everyone to come to the space under training, under guidance, under an, uh, a good tutorial so as to make every space interesting, not to mislead or disinform people because we need knowledge and we need understanding of that knowledge and we need to acquire the knowledge to be able to transmit information around the globe. Afolabi strongly believes with training and guidance, Nigerian media can get it right. It's disruptive. It's disruptive too. It disrupts society. It disrupts order. It disrupts um, good neighborliness, peaceful coexistence. And if it does so, it means that we must continue to campaign against it. For us in the DSS, we relate, and I mean it's even more heartwarming, that there are groups, and even a group like uh, this uh, coalition, that will stand before Nigerians to campaign against fake news and condemn it, realizing its disadvantage. Kudos. As we all know, it's a, it's a wide wind. It blows nobody any good. And today, everybody believes. You can't even put any category of uh, citizens that they are the people that believe in fake news. It calls across every cadre. The uneducated, the educated, the enlightened, people spread it. You know, any platform you, you are part of, the next thing you see people posting information that they don't even verify. So it's a serious issue that uh, Guests at the event still believe the battle against fake news can be won.